In this video, we will talk about group homomorphisms. So a group homomorphism is defined as follows. Let G star be a group, and we've put this in one color to designate that G is a set and its binary operation is star, and they go together, this set and binary operation, to make a group. And let's consider another group, H diamond, where H is another set and diamond is another binary operation and they go together to make a group. So we've got two different groups here. And so a map, phi, which goes from G to H, such that phi of X star Y equals phi of X diamond phi of Y for all X, Y, and G is called a homomorphism. So your homomorphism, if you satisfy this property, if phi satisfies this property. So let's take a look at an example. Uh, let's consider um, our set G to be uh, the real numbers. So we'll consider this to be one group, the real numbers under addition. And let's consider uh, another group Let's consider the real numbers under multiplication. So the real numbers uh, take away zero, of course, because zero does not have an inverse, a multiplicative inverse. Uh, so that be another group. So we have two groups here. Uh, binary operation on the first group is addition. Binary operation over here on the second group is multiplication. And let's consider the map phi, which goes from R to r take away zero. And we'll consider uh, phi from r to r take away zero uh, by the following definition. Phi of uh, x equals e to the x. So I've put uh, our items in color here so that we can see what's going on. Our x, our input, comes from the real numbers, which is a group under addition. Our output of phi ends up over in the yellow group, the, the group which is the real numbers take away zero together with the binary operation multiplication. So let's verify that phi is a homomorphism. So to do this, we will need to show that for any x and y and g, we have this property being satisfied. So this is what we're going to need to check. Where in our particular problem that we're working on, star is taking the role of addition and diamond is taking the role of uh, multiplication. Okay, so let's take any x and y. And I'll put those in pink so we keep track of who's where. x, y, um, element of r. And consider phi of x plus y. Notice that I have addition here because the binary operation on our pink group, on our domain group here, uh, is uh, addition. So what does it mean to take phi of an element? Well, we've just defined phi as exponentiation, so we will uh, write phi of x plus y as e to the x plus y. By our rules of exponents, this is the same as e to the x times e to the y. And by definition of phi, this is simply phi of x times phi of y. And notice that these elements are elements uh, in our yellow group over here, which is the real numbers take away zero. And so the binary operation here is multiplication. So what have we shown? We have shown uh, exactly what we needed to show, namely that phi 
is a homomorphism. So we'll just write that down here. Phi is a homomorphism. And it is a homomorphism of groups since that's uh, what we started with. We started with two groups and phi is a map between those two groups.